Quad 106.5, that's XTC with Dear God, and we have the lead singer right now. It's a religious station, right? This is <laughs> Church of Christ the Plumber here. That's why we're playing wicked music, right? Oh, absolutely. You going boil in hell, boy. Andy Partridge. So, so is that yes, your daughter singing himself. on it? Here I am. Uh, no, that's not. No, it's a little girl called Jasmine Vailette, who um, uh, she sang with a country band, I do believe, uh, with her parents' country band, and they were a friend of Todd Rungman's producer. Mm -hmm. so, we turned up one day and she was just in the studio doing it and there we were, you know, pressing our nose against the window. Let us in, it's our album, let us in. <laughs> she did a good job. <laughs> All right. So, so uh, you write like a lot of variety, I think. Yeah, I have know? a really big pen. <laughs> Colin has a smaller pen. <laughs> Is it a big feather pen? Uh, it's a big, fat, bulging, manly pen. <laughs> yes, no, you've been, you've been putting out recordings for 15 years now. Uh, how do you stay fresh writing? Uh, we don't take drugs and uh, we don't have much to do with rock and roll nonsense and uh, we're not part of the circus, we're not permanently touring, you know, <laughs> imprisoned in those vibrant orange holiday inns and best westerns and you get you really addled, you know, you wake up in 50 of those on the trot and you start to think, ah, where am I? <laughs> well, you haven't toured for a while, right? That's right. And uh, is there a reason for that? Oh, loads of reasons. Um, we did too much of it. I'm not an athlete. Um, I have a nervous system that I like to keep functioning. Thank you. Uh, you have to have the nervous system of a sort of concrete support pillar if you're going to tour. Really, just you know, no people, ten thousand people, no people, fifteen thousand people. You know, it's, <laughs> it's kind of it winds you up. You know. Right. Well, do you plan on touring again? Um, I don't think so. But uh, doesn't mean you're a bad person. Uh, we like to make records. We think that we make kind of okay records and. We don't kind of play okay-ish live, but uh, we don't function the same as most other rock and roll bands, which kind of makes us a sort of unique-ish flavor. Oh, look, a cup of bubbling sulfur for me. <laughs> Yum. Well, I think you make better than okay records, like uh, Peter Pumpkinhead. That's playing... my modesty muscle. Yeah, we're, we're clicking in there. <laughs> we're playing the ballad of Peter Pumpkinhead a lot here, and I would just like to know uh, how, how you can clear that up for us. A lot of people uh, think it might be about JFK. Mm. Hmm. Sacramento tap water, 1992. Could be 91. Slightly musky. Mm. Um, the the video has kind of JFK and uh, Jesus imagery smashed together. But I'm I'm just mischievous, you know. And Mr. Six 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 here. No, I just <laughs> thought it was. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of mischievous to put the metaphors together. Uh, a couple of good martyr metaphors. And seeing as the single was primarily being released in America, I thought, hmm, how can we kind of uh, make Americans think, so we thought we'd deal with a couple of patron saints of yours, J.C. and St. John, you know. Uh, the actual song, Peter Pumpkinhead, is really about a pumpkin. I carved a pumpkin for... Uh, like for Halloween. For Halloween, you know. Well, you know, we, we enjoy Halloween in our house. We slaughter the goats and <laughs> impale the firstborn and that sort of stuff. And uh, what, what, come the end of Halloween, I couldn't bring myself to, to throw it out. He looked so innocent and so pure. So I thought, well, I'll take him in the garden and stick him on a fence post, you know, stuck him on a fence, and poor thing started to, to decay, you know, giving off this kind of green, fluffy ooze, and grey, and all that, you know, just like me early in the morning, you know. And I thought, oh, he's so innocent and so perfect, I'll, I'll immortalise him in a song. So I started to write a song about a perfect person. They just happened to have a pumpkin's head, you know. But um, the more I wrote about a perfect person, what, what would a perfect person do? They'd tell the truth. And that would make them really powerful and, and kind of popular mixed with unpopular in certain quarters. And they give people what they want. People want compassion and love. So, yeah, he gave out love and compassion. And they want money. So he gave all his money away and made them all happy. And he became so popular for, for being perfect that the government decided to have him bumped off, which has happened all the way through history. And I'm sure it's going to happen all the way ahead. History ahead is such a phrase exist. But he's kind of... Potentially, he is perfect, and, and everybody's potentially perfect. And uh, you can you can see, everyone can see themselves in Peter Pumpkinhead. That's neat. He's dial a martyr, you know. Pick we'll be, your favorite martyr. People have thought it's about all sorts of stuff. My water assistant here, Fifi. <laughs> Take a bow, Fifi. You won't see the lovely outfit she's wearing if you don't have color radio, but... <laughs> Uh, where was I? Oh, yes, planet Earth. Oh. <laughs> All right, Andy, we're going to uh, take a little break here. We'll be right back, okay? Andy Partridge of XTC. Staff, professional service, great wedding deal. There are 11 neighborhood centers, so see your phone book for a location convenient for you. 
Quad 106.5. We're back with Andy Partridge of XTC. Andy, you want to talk with some people out there in Radio Land? Yeah, I just finished gargling with my coal dust there. Which... Okay, well, who do we have on the line right now? Who do? <laughs> who, who do this be? Who is there? They, they, There's uh, nobody there. Oh, That's no, are you referring to me? Yeah, we're talking uh, to you. No, oh, God, I thought we're you were waiting for someone else to pick up the line. This is Jasmine. We were trying to talk to the person behind you. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, God, don't hang up. <laughs> Well, go ahead and ask Andy a question. Anything. I, I'll admit to anything. Oh, well, go gosh, on. anything. This is going to be a bizarre question, but I really wanted to know if Andy was, if he could sign a CD for me. Well, if just I if you can, if you can get down here in the next five minutes, I'll sign anything. Oh, next five You know, five it's minutes. mortgage agreements, anything. You bring them down here. Well, then I'll just ask a question. Across this ant heap? Yeah, I've Oh, what is that about? Nine, nine, I was only following orders. Uh, what's it about? Yeah. Um, I, I thought it was kind of obvious, but... Um, well, uh, it is, but I want to make sure that I've got it. Okay, it's about the world and all the people, and, and when you're a little insomniac and you start thinking about the entire history of everything and the history of everything, doesn't it won't leave your brain? <laughs> That's what I thought, and I said, well, I better <laughs> verify while I have the chance. Well, I'm more than excited probably a little too excited, so I'm going to let you talk to someone else. Well, don't, uh, just calm yourself down and uh, <laughs> cut, cut out the caffeine, girl, and, and relax. Thanks a lot, Jasmine. Decaf. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay, okay bye. Quad 106.5, who's this? This is Charlie. It's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Hello, it. Hello, Charlie. Hi there. I really wanted to ask you a question about another song that I've been wondering about. Uh, yes. Okay. Dear God is like one of my favorite songs. Yes. It really is. And um, I, I know what it means, but I just, I was wondering, is that like your own personal view? Is, is that how you think about uh, things? Kind of. I thought I failed terribly. I was really wrestling with the, uh, the dying embers of my um, disgust in, in uh, Christianity, really. So mm -hmm. I, I know, you know, I'm to do a pocket version of what I believe. There is no God, there is no devil. Ergo, there is no devil. Uh, there's no heaven and no hell. And we have to be as good as possible and have as much fun down here and uh, cause everyone else to have as much fun as possible and not let uh, people scare the pants off you with this religious nonsense. Okay. All right, one well, thank more. Thank you. Thank one you. I appreciate it. All right. One more question. There's a, a sort of church, on, church on the air here. <laughs> yeah, who's this? Yeah, this is Jeff. Jeff, what do you want to ask Andy? Andy, uh, can we expect anything else from the Dukes of Stratosphere? Ah, uh, the Dukes, we had them uh, killed off in a bizarre <laughs> accident involving very rusty kitchen implements and a vat of boiling treacle. Um, the Dukes have had children. I don't think they're going to be making any more albums, but the, their kids could well make a record or two. We're, we're contemplating something at the moment. How about Mr. Partridge? Uh, he's alive and well and, <laughs> and living in uh, Iowa, I think, at the moment. <laughs> All right. Yes! All right. Uh, yeah, so they may do something else, but not as the Dukes. Oh, okay. But yeah. I do like the idea of kind of anonymous music, you know, all this anonymous Bosch, as it were. Can we? Uh, can you give me a hint as to what it would be? No. Who? <laughs> all right, thanks for calling. Quad 106.5, who's this? Yes, my name is Alyssa. I have a request. Today's my birthday, and I'm... Yay! Oh, my Alyssa! <laughs> Happy oh, birthday. what's it like being eight? Sorry, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 22. Oh, well, that's <laughs> kind of more interesting. I Actually, suppose. I'm really 24, but I'm just telling everybody I'm turning 22. You're just a lying swine, really. I don't know whether we should be saying happy birthday to you if you tell, <laughs> if you tell please, Porky please, Pies. Please, please. Oh, all right then. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hello? Yes. Yeah, happy birthday. Quad 106.5. Who's this? Yeah, this is Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Rick, what do you want to ask Andy? Well, we pretty much got the idea what Peter Pumpkin had to yeah. us. What yeah. do you feel about the present situation with politics? Think you can make any uh, interesting songs out of this? Uh, politics is a uh, catch-22 to taken to the nth degree because uh, all you can vote for are politicians, yet who'd want to vote for somebody who would be a politician? I'll leave you to work that out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks for calling. You got it. All right, Andy, thanks for joining us at Quad 106.5 today. You are doing an in-store at Tower on Columbus tomorrow in San Francisco. So bring down your aging relatives and I'll sign them for you. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us, Andy Partridge of XTC. Here's the song we've been talking about, The Ballad of Peter Pumpkin. What'd you say, boy? Let's